Hello and welcome everyone to this lecture. In this lecture, I will be demonstrating um, um, the procedure to install the Graphical Network Simulator 3, which is the GNS3 on your Windows system, right? And if you don't know what GNS3 is, GNS3 is the one of the oldest uh, network simulator um, after the uh, the Cisco Packet Tracer, and it was first released in 2008. And uh, if you are old enough. Um, so you might be familiar with this GNS3, right? Um, now, since the EVNG came to light, it is um, more popular than GNS3, but people still uh, prefer working on GNS3 because they are comfortable with it. So if you are one of the um, uh, guys who are comfortable with GNS3, then you should follow this lecture or else you can move forward and see how to install EVNG. Now in this in this lecture I will show you how to install the GNS3 client and the in, and in the subsequent videos you will see how to install the GN, GNS3 VM. So GNS3 has evolved and it's now working like a client and server uh, architecture. So client is going to be your GNS3 application and then the server is going to be your GNS3 VM. Uh, the client will only be able to run um, images using the Dynamips. Uh, and not the chemo. If you want to run the chemo images, you have to install the GNS3 VM. We will see the, all of these details in the subsequent videos. But for this video, we have to focus on installing the GNS3 uh, client on our system and get started uh, working with it. Yeah. So first thing what you need to do is you need to go to the GNS3 website, which is www.gns3.com and you just click on this. Now from here, I want you to um, install the uh, uh, the client itself right so it, it says you to download it for free you can just click on this free download link and then you will uh, it will give you three options whether based on the uh, what you say the platform you have Windows Mac or Linux it is available for all of it uh, now we will be um, installing on our Windows and it says you to um, uh, sign in. Uh, so I will sign in with my credentials. If you don't have uh, credentials uh, created, you can just create account here uh, and, and then later on si sign in with that created newly created account. Okay, I'll go and uh, sign in my account. Okay, so now I have signed in my with my account. Now I can click on the free download uh, link and then click on the download. Now this will uh, download the latest in, uh, version of GNS3. And after you download the GNS3 uh, all-in-one uh, software, which is uh, if you see here, the version is 2.2.38. You also get an option to download um, a free, uh, I mean, uh, like uh, tools, right? Uh, like the ping sweep, advanced submit calculator and uh, everything. If you are interested in, uh, in, in downloading these and trying all of this, you can get it for free. Click here and, and you can get it for free. I'm not interested. I'll just cancel it. Now I want to install the GNS3. I will click on this. Okay. Let's start the installation. Hit next. Hit agree. Hit next. And on this one, I just want you to select the GNS3 desktop only right now. Hit next. Hit next. And uh, this is just a wizard, so you have to follow the wizard. And uh, on most of the time, you have to keep the default settings. Whenever there are um, there is anything that needs to be um, changed, I will let you know. Uh, for now, we will just wait for the setup to complete, and I'll, I'll just fast forward this video and um, see you once this is done. Okay, here you have to hit I agree. Then. Just select all of them, say install. So these are all the dependency uh, software that needs to be installed for the GNS3 to work properly. Okay, it's completed. Hit next. Hit finish. And wait for the installation to again continue. Okay, seems that this is complete. Click on next. Okay, here you have to select yes or no. I'll say no next. And then click on let's say start and finish. Now this will automatically start the GNS3 application once the installation is completed. 
and you need to wait for a while and yeah so now here you will have to wait for a while uh, to see the um, server in this server summary section it will initialize the local host so you need to wait for a while okay uh, it is doing on the local port of 3080 now here you need to create a new project or if you want if you have an old project you can open that but for now let's say this is a new um, installation so we'll say gns3 test gns3 enter so we created a new project test gns3 now you have um, here the on the top menu bar you have multiple options you have file inside file you have new blank project if you want to create a new one if you want to open an old one this open project that you want to hit and it will take you to the folder where you have saved the uh, gns3 projects now if you want to save the current gns3 um, as a different name you can do it as a copy you can say uh, if you want to edit this you can do it um, if you want to delete you can do it export or import um, any project you can do it import appliance we'll see this in the next uh, uh, videos wherein I will show you how to import an appliance into this and then the new template now in the edit the most important thing which is the preference uh, we will be looking into it into more detail uh, in the future videos then you have the view how you want to have the view of the uh, the, uh, the working area annotate how you want to add note or insert a picture insert uh, all the uh, shapes into it uh, you can do that and then tools uh, you can want to take a screenshot of this you can do it um, you can go to the web ui also but not right now and then help if you want to see what version you are running 2.2.38 right okay now the same thing you will have some of them here uh, like the open project the the sorry the new project the open project and this is like manage the snapshots and this is like uh, you want to see the labels on the devices um, this is um, uh, cons uh, to console into the nodes uh, run the node uh, suspend and stop the node this is to uh, basically reload all the nodes in the project you want to add a note here you can uh, you can do this for example this is uh, this is van kind of stuff on your uh, design you can do that you want to select it and delete you will delete this then you have uh, if you want to insert a picture you can do it from your system uh, then you want to insert a rectangle insert a circle uh, ellipse or circle you want to do you can just stretch it and make it a square make it a rectangle you can make it as a like ellipse or you want to have a, a straight line like this so you can have um, all these shapes inserted into your uh, topology like right? you want to lock all of the nodes you can do that so that you will not be able to move the nodes you want to zoom in zoom out and take a screenshot so all these options are there now on the left hand side you will see um, uh, if you click on the routers it will show you only routers right now we have no nodes added these are all the switches uh, which come by default this is the endpoints and devices vpcs nat cloud then this is the security devices which we have nothing and then if you want to see all of them at once without the category you can just do this now let's add a vpc here and right click and start uh, and i want to see here this one yeah so this has turned green that means this vpc has started if i right click and and uh, um, click on console it will take me to console or even double click should take me to the console via the super party yeah i am, am inside the vpc before that i want to shut this vpc down stop it and add another vpc and let's say i add a switch here like this so for example if you want to connect so all the nodes that you add will come up here will show up here so this is um unmanaged switch which means you will not be able to console into the cli rather you will have a, a gui here which will uh, help you to uh, the to configure the ports and the vlan and type of access you want to change you can do it so for example port number one i want to keep, keep it to uh, say vlan two three something like that and also if you want to change the type to dot one q trunking or access you can do it, right so i want to cancel i want to keep it as default which means all the ports are part of the same vlan and all the ports of are of access type right now to connect the um, interfaces you will click on this sign here add a link and click on pc1 and it will show you the 
uh, the interface it has Ethernet 0 and then stretch and click on the switch it has eight ports starting each zero to each seven so I'll click on each zero and then it turns green that means it's already used now the remaining is each one and I'll click on here and each zero so I have connected two VPCs to the same switch and then I will click and or you can just click here so that all the nodes are started right so let's try and uh, test this by pinging each other so for example uh, I want to write down a note so I'll say this is 10.1.1.0 slash 24 subnet yeah so this is how you will add a node uh, or you can say this box this is like a uh, like this this is like a LAN now if I want to um, I mean the, the layer um, if I want to take the layer down I can say lower one layer so that the box is behind these nodes right so I can also color it right so I will, I will go to style and I can say the border color different which is um, right now black I can just um, uh, keep it like that and then I can change the fill color so for example I want a light blue here okay and apply and you will see the background changing like this so like that so let's say i i have this um as duplicate i can say duplicate so that i don't want to um type again and again this is dot one duplicate and this is say dot two so i have one more this one i can just click and delete this one nice so i have all of these right now you can see i can move these around right or what I can do is I can just be like this and I say like click on this control click on this control click on this so I have selected all three now I can uh, align them horizontally like this I can align them vertically as well if I want one two three and then I can say align vertically so just something like this if I do it like this and then click one two three and I can align horizontally again okay so these are the things that you can do to align them uh, now if you want to log this you just click on here now you will not be able to move these nodes here and there right so this is the uh, options that you have and then you can just zoom in so that you want the topology to be bigger in size yeah like this you want to take a screenshot of the topology and save it I'll say test topology yeah it is saved into my documents now next thing is what I want to configure this VPC say I'll say IP as 10.0.1.1.1 slash 24 done this is the PC1 and then I'll click here you should open the PC2 in a new tab yeah and I'll say this PC2 is basically if I want to change the font here should be able to go to settings um, and go to general and I have to launch the putty here okay appearances change the font so you want to have 20 okay and yeah so that is done right if I go to this I don't think this is working but then if I do this again no I don't have any effects here so to to increase the font I think you would have to go to the putty software if it is installed obviously here you have to go and so for example you can also change the preference to putty if you go to preference and if you go to the nodes console type telnet right here you have edit uh, the console type is telnet okay and then if you want to change this it should be in the general let's say console application yes now it is saying super putty instead let's have you can have all of these right you can have the secure crt you can have the putty normal hit okay apply and okay 
if I click on this one this should in come back in my putty application right uh, so now here I can go and change the settings go to appearances change the font let's say 16 apply apply and it is bigger now right but, but the problem is it will open in um, multiple windows right um, like this so I can go here and now change the settings appearances font and say 16 and okay and apply okay so now I have PC 1 and I have PC 2 now PC if I see IP I think it is uh, show IP yeah it is set to 10.1.1.1 already now here if I say show IP uh, it has no IP so I'll say IP 10.1.1.2 slash 24 right you want to um, um, configure a default gateway you can do that after the for example after the same command you can type the default ga gateway like this yeah but in this case I don't need it but this is how you do it now say for example I want to ping from 10.1.1.1.2 to 10.1.1.1 like this right so I can say ping just to type test the connectivity right so I can reach from PC2 to PC1 so this is a small topology this is working fine and uh, I've shown you all the um, small pieces um, to get you started here if you are uh, quite I mean if you are um, new to GNS3 so this this um, much of tutorial should get you started with all the options that is there for now we will see all the other features of GNS3 in the subsequent videos so that would be all for this video and I'll see you in the next lecture